All right, former NHL defenseman, recently retired uh, from the Dallas Stars, Stephen Johns now joins us on the road now. Stephen, um, you swap your NHL skates for rollerblades, and you're in the midst of a cross-country rollerblading quest to help others who are dealing with depression and, and mental illness. There are lots of ways to raise awareness and things to, to draw attention to initiatives that we're all you know, really committed to. Why rollerblade across the United States? Um, <clears throat> you know, it's something that's obviously so personal to me. Um, I, you probably saw the post that I, I, I made a couple of days ago when I announced that my retirement and announced this journey. Um, I don't know. I've skated for 25 years, 26 years of my life, and I hadn't in a year. And uh, so I was just kind of looking for a spark of, of something and uh kind of came across that video that that inspired me and <laughs> here we are about 700 miles later <laughs> tell us about the video um yeah a lot of it's gonna i'm gonna keep it a lot of a lot of it personal just to tell like my own story like eventually with the documentary and stuff right. um, awesome. but just uh yeah i was in a really dark place um and kind of just stumbled across this youtube video and uh got this sense of ins I was just inspired and uh for the first time in you know years I was excited to do something and um I just kind of took it and run ran with it at, at what point do you realize Stephen you'd had you know you'd had really good success pretty pretty quickly once you got to Dallas my son played against you and uh when you went to Texas and he was like where the hell did this guy come from <laughs> like you made like an immediate impact um, when did you know after you were injured, man, this is not going the way that it needs to go? Um, honestly, right after it, um, I remember being frustrated after the second period, after the hit, and, uh, I knew it was different. Um, I've had, you know, a lot of concussions in my career, just be, just based off the way I played. And, um, you know, I, I remember sitting on the bench and watching the play go by and like, you know, my eyes weren't really moving and just being like, this is different. Um, and then kind of, you know, after <laughs> six, seven months of getting worse and worse and worse, it's just, uh, it was just a snowball effect that, you know, it took three years to kind of get over, I guess. I, I assume you went through all kinds of treatments and remedies and where are you feeling now compared to then? Yeah, I haven't had a headache the last three days for the first time in three years. So that's wow. uh, awesome. Yeah, it's been, uh, I can't even explain to you how happy I am. Um, yeah, yeah, where I was three weeks ago. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been incredible. So you're, you've, you're, I mean, that's just amazing to hear. Like, just yeah. so happy to hear that, Stephen. You talk about you've skated 700 miles. <laughs> what does well, your ass and your legs feel like right now? <laughs> well, not, I don't know if the, the total miles on the wheels are 700, but it's kind of tough because we're not doing interstates or we're finding the back roads that are, that are smooth and, you know, low traffic. So I'll, I'll blade for, you know, 20, 30 minutes until the road ends or until it turns in the gravel and then hop in the truck and, and zoom in on Google maps. And ah, that looks like a good road. Let's go check that out. And we, pull up to that and if it's a good road I, I hit it and if not we just kind of keep rolling northwest or southwest or hmm. it's kind of we're just yeah we're just rolling and we see a campground at around six seven o'clock we set up shop and throw, throw the hot dogs on and crack a couple beers and talk about life it's uh <laughs> I mean I yeah it's uh it's been it's been a wild experience obviously with um <clears throat> social media has just been crazy. Um, trying to keep, keep up with everyone just sending us messages. And, um, you know, I knew this, I knew this trip would help me a lot. Um, but I didn't really realize the, the effect it would have on others. And that's what I think is just so cool about, you know, we're 10 days in and yeah, I'm just more, I'm so excited for the next 20. Well, you know, you said something um, prior to this journey, and, and that kind of jogs my memory a little bit. And I'm going to quote you because you were, you were quoted saying, look, maybe I was always meant to be more than a hockey player. And maybe this is how I can have an impact. Mm -hmm. 
So it sounds like when you said that, you believed that this was the journey you needed to take. And now you're joining us and you're confirming that this has been great for you. So have you always wondered that or did hockey kind of suppress those feelings for you over the years? No, I mean, <laughs> hell, I mean, I wanted, I wanted to play in the NHL till I was 45, you know, <laughs> it's not, you know, this was never, this was never in the books, you know, writing in your journal and stuff when you're in kindergarten and preschool and, you know, no one, no one signs up to play 150 games in the NHL. Um, yeah. You know, you, you don't want to, like, no one dreams of just, I just want to make it to the NHL. You know, you want to be an all-star. You want to make the Olympic team. You want to win cups. And, um, you know, when that's kind of taken away from you without your, with, without your power, it's, uh, you know, it screws with you and it's tough. And uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of yeah. un unexplainable for sure. Now, when you decided to go on the, on the trip, so how do you find the right, person to go with how do you find like the right roads to go like I'm just amazed Stephen that you just said okay I'm doing this and out you went like was there much more thought than I mean there's more thought than that but much more than that um honestly no um <laughs> I texted my buddy who is the he's been the videographer for the stars for the last five six years and mm -hmm. he's uh he got a new job uh starting this fall so he's got a couple months and you know, we were talking about, you know, sitting down and, and telling my story in a different way. And um, it was kind of the a couple of days after I saw the video and I kind of pitched it to him and he was like, hell yeah, man, let's do it. And I was like, are you sure, man, you're going to be the one driving 15 miles per hour across the country? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 been so cool. I mean, we're doing stuff that like no one does. We're I mean, we're we're driving back literally the back roads, the entire country. Um, we've hopped on the highway for maybe 50 miles just to get from city to city. Um, but it, we're seeing some really cool things and it's just, it's so fun. I keep, you know, I feel like every middle of the day, I always have to like, see how he's doing and apologize. Like, man, thanks for so much for coming again. Like, <laughs> and I feel like his response every time is, yeah. this is awesome. Like I, I, I'm having so much fun. So, you know, it's, it's been cool, you know, meeting up with old friends and teammates and coaches um i've kind of traced my whole hockey career which is kind of kind of cool in a sense so it's been uh yeah it's been amazing you you mentioned earlier um you know you put a documentary out at at, at some point um when will you finish and when will you hope to get that out uh we're hoping to get to the coast by mid-july um, and then we got some other things in the, in the works. Um, it's going to be a bit cause there's <laughs> a crazy amount of footage. So <laughs> just putting everything together and, uh, and truly like sitting down and telling my story from start to finish because, um, you know, it only, every, what everyone knows kind of only scratches the surface and, sure. uh, goes a lot deeper and darker, unfortunately. Um, but it's a story that I think needs to be told. Um, I think it'll help me. I think, it, uh, and most importantly, it'll help others. Is your, uh, was your family stunned, surprised? Like, <laughs> Oh my God, what are you doing? And, or were they just happy for you? No, uh, well, I gave them a heads up right away. I said, you can't say anything that's going to make me not there. You know, you can't, nothing's going to stop me from doing this. I, that was, <laughs> that was, that was my first, my first things I told my parents. Um, you know, my mom was, <laughs> pretty 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 nervous pretty concerned but you know once i started talking to her about the logistics of the trip and how safe we were actually being and um you know she's she's happy to see me happy that's that's all she that's all they care about as, i gotta as ask you one thing you asked yeah, you ahead, mentioned right. uh uh anyone got a solution for lace bite how, how else <laughs> i can't even imagine what your ankles feel like did you find something no no uh <laughs> no. well well, this here's the issue. I thought it was a, a great idea to to rip open a brand new pair of rollerblades and uh, right. not even bake them or wear them and try to rip across this, the country in them. Um, but no, it's it's honestly fine. It's uh, once I get going, it's just being stopped. But once I get rolling, it's good. 
Uh, <laughs> talk about some of your experiences. I, I've seen on social media, Joe Pavelski met up with you, right? Uh, so you've talked a little bit about your teammates. Aside from that, have you had any sort of out there moments, chased by bears, people <laughs> screaming at you through vehicles, that sort of thing? Uh, honestly, most, most people, the most passerbys are pretty, pretty positive, giving us beeps or thumbs up or peace sign. Uh, we've had a couple people scream, uh, you know, go find a different road or <laughs> something like that. But, uh, no, it's been the one, the one thing was, that's been pretty cool is, uh, the, the second day we were in middle of Ohio, um, and we are, we just filled up the truck with gas and I was, I was getting ready to pull out of the gas station and. I hear my name called from the gas station. I turn around and it's like a 16, 17 year old kid. And he said, he's like, dude, I was, I was having a rough morning. And I, I was literally reading your Instagram post. And I looked up and I saw you. And he's like, I go to school, like right around the corner. And we're, and I'm, we're talking like two, probably 150, 200 miles from my hometown. So this kid had, you know, no idea who I was or anything probably before seeing the Instagram post. And, you know, he told him it put him in a good mood and he was excited for the day. So mm. that's kind of like a, a kind of pinch me moment right there where it's like holy shit this is this is way bigger than me um and that's what that's what's cool about it is you know because you know as hockey players it's never about us it's never about the individual um so that's that's kind of where this is going yeah uh, I, I gotta tell you steven i'm you know he's taught this this young man's talking about how you inspired him yeah. Dregs and I started to talk after we saw your Instagram post and like just couldn't like couldn't really get our head around what you're doing and what you're accomplishing, not just for yourself, but for so many others. I, I just I, I, I want to thank you for your time. But, man, you're doing an amazing thing here. And I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're you're healthy, uh, feeling better. Uh, we have a degree of separation in the in the Bartlett family is our. <laughs> our agents of course i have steve you you know the younger guys are rolling <laughs> along too and they're great oh, yeah. people and obviously if you're working with them um you're in the right hands there too so i just i just want to congratulate you and wish you all the best this has been awesome steven yeah i really appreciate it and uh yeah thanks for having me on guys and you know if you ever want to Get a couple of miles in with me. Let me know. I'll be out. I'll be out in Montana here pretty <laughs> you get, soon. You get out. You get in the Northwest. We can join. You can, yeah. geez, man. That's a big country. I guess you're realizing. Oh. It. <laughs> yeah, we we're looking at it right now. It's like uh, we're about halfway through Mini, and it's like, oh man, South Dakota is like three times as wide as Mini. <laughs> <laughs> but What's... Yeah, it's it, it's going to be cool because we're going to be doing some hiking and. We're going to be taking some days off when we get out there and, and, and right. get, get really out there. So it's going to be sweet. Excellent. Well, we'll let you go. But what's the best way for us to follow? Just continuing to follow on the social media channels? Yeah, we're uh, we're waiting for to hear back from a couple of charities that we're going to be working with and trying to get some T-shirts out and uh, different okay. ways to donate. Um, but yeah, um, if you, you know, just use the hashtag mental miles and try to tag us and we'll, we'll promote it. And yeah. Um, I don't know. I rollerblading is pretty freaking fun. Last, I don't yeah. know the last time you tried it. So, <laughs> yeah, but you don't have a stick in your hand. Yeah, or brakes. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Stephen. Find the good road, Stephen. Find yes, the good sir. road. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Thanks for doing it. Thank you. Yeah.